Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanic. And I've got a need. A need for... Quickness. For... For... Velocity. Hasteness? So, something along those lines. I don't really know. I'm, I'm not a poet. Anyway, today we're in a brand new flat world, which seems to go on and on forever. What we need to do is head towards the closest wall, and assuming that we started in the middle... Uh... I don't know, I'm just picking the direction. We're going towards the sun. Because this is going to be dependent on our actual build today. What I want to do, which you may have gathered from the thumbnail and the title and possibly the description and possibly other people's comments, say, oh my god, he built Sato such and such. What I want to do today is try and build the single fastest land vehicle we can. And how we're going to time this, what we're going to do is go from one end of this map to the other. Right now on foot, it's going to feel like it's taking forever, but this this map is sh basically just a box. I don't know if it's a perfect square or if it's rectangular, but as long as we keep going to and away from the sun, we should be able to keep it relatively consistent. Oh man, I'm getting real tired. Whew. <sighs> Staring at this blue sky is really making me apparent, uh, or it's really making the dead pixel on my monitor very apparent. I can, I can see it. It's right on the horizon right now. You guys can't see it because it's just on my monitor, but... Damn, I should put a block where I started something just so I can know how far it is. God. When you're flying around and driving around in contraptions, this map doesn't feel very big. But when you're walking it... Oh, man. What if they added a patch or something that made it even bigger? That'd be pretty nuts. There we go. Speak of the devil. Okay, so here's the edge. Uh, we're gonna put... Just a, just a big old wall here. Just to tell us... That it's there, and just so we can see it from relatively far away. Where is she going to? Go up here. Ah! Ah! Let me up. Thank you. A little higher. There you go. Oh, that was concrete. Oh, well. Alright, so there's that thing. And then we can just put like a big hole in the middle. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but there it is. There's our signifier of the edge of the map. So we're going to start building right here. Uh, I have a few ideas I want to try it while doing this. Uh, but it's going to be super fast, so it's going to be relatively heavy. Just because it's going to be going at such a high speed that uh, to keep it to the ground. So we're going to be building like the base out of metal. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to attach enough engines and thrusters to this to really get it going. I, again, there, uh, I'm going to be doing things that don't really make sense in the real world. This game does not have realistic physics. There is no air. There is no aerodynamics. There is no drag. Uh, friction is another thing I am not sure how the game responds to, because in a situation like this, you don't want a lot, uh, a lot of the car touching the ground, and you want to reduce the surface area that's touching the ground, so you want as few thin wheels as possible, that's why you see, uh, like, street bicycles and stuff have very thin tires, and if you look at, uh, some of the world record setting vehicles, they're very thin, uh, with very little surface area touching the ground, and I don't actually know about the weight distribution, but... Hey, we're just going to experiment and figure it out as we go. Let's slip this bad boy on there. Let's actually make this an even number, because, you know, it should be even. Okay. And so, like, I don't know if I should stick with the big wheels or the... L hmm. That's weird. Okay, what? Well, the wheel says heavyweight, and the medium wheels... Or the big wheel says medium weight. That doesn't really make sense. Huh. I, just got, I looked at my phone, I got a comment from NTAC saying something about my description. I don't know what's going on there, I'll just go check that out. But we're, we're just going to start slapping some wheels on this bad boy. There and there. Um, ooh, you know what would be cool? If we did that, and then if we do big wheels in the back. So that'll kind of lean it forward, and hopefully that'll push some of the uh, speed downward so that's because what I'm worried about this is as we build up speed I'm worried about the front lifting up so maybe this will angle some of the force down especially if we're going to be strapping a literal butt ton of thrusters to this guy uh, but what I want to do because I don't know if, if I want to just be thruster powered I guess it wouldn't hurt to have some engine power in there too especially for when we're maneuvering and turning uh, I should probably actually go ahead and Allow these guys to turn. Okay, preliminary test. We got a uh, bank of rockets back there. Everything's hooked up. 
So let's, uh, actually, let's see if we can actually go full power on this without flipping it. Okay, and fire! <laughs> okay. So yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Okay, one of the engines too powerful. It's taking the front off and not allowing us to turn. So let's go down a couple. There we go. Ah, we're stuck in the wall there. Okay, and honestly, the thrusters should be able to do it on their own. Okay, oh, it's getting a little bumpy. A little bumpy. Probably use some suspension. Ah, man. That's also going to be a tricky thing, just making sure it goes in a straight line. Yeah, we're definitely going to need that sus uh, suspension. Don't know why I didn't think of that. It also looks a little light. Uh, so we're probably going to have to add quite a bit of weight to it. But as we add more thrusters, I guess should add weight. Okay, good to know. Okay, so in an attempt to try and keep the front down, I'm gonna try something wacky. I'm gonna try and make it look like a drag racer. So there we got that. Okay, um, and then we'll probably just throw... Oh, let's see if this will line up. So there. Uh, what, how's it gonna look? Yeah, so it's it's touching the ground. Okay, and then what's cool about this is we can just put a butt ton of thrusters on the front here. Um, no, let's take that there. Oh, are these even at full power yet? Oh, they're not even at full power. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, we're probably gonna hit the whatever the limit is for this game's thruster capabilities, but I guess we're gonna find that out. Let's see, how do I want to arrange these? Could do something like that. Yeah, that, that could work. Because I'm pretty sure the game will recognize the thrusters even if they're blocked like this. I doubt it's that sophisticated. So there you go. Hook these all up to Mr. Button back here. So that's six more thrusters. Still not a full power. I guess we can later we can try it on full power, but right now we're just tinkering with the design. Uh, these can go ahead and hook up to the engine. Okay. All right, that's actually looking a lot more stable. Actually, hold that. <laughs> okay. Oh, stay down, Mr. Nose. Okay, a bit of a wide turn at this point. We could try having some thrusters point downward. Maybe it's just a, like a 45 degree angle to try and hold this thing down. Oh no. Ah. Huh. Okay, let's, let's try that, shall we? Oh, so we got bearings already. We're gonna need controller. So maybe for these, we could just do something like... We should have like right there. Okay, that looks good. Bearing there. Right there. Right there. And then we'll put a controller just right here in the front. These bearings hook up. Have these thrusters go to the button. Okay, Mr. Controller. Um, let's see, is that gonna be the right angle? No, that one's the wrong angle. So now that should point us downward. Hopefully, that'll keep us on the ground. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, man. Jeez. That is insane. Look how far we got already. That was insanely fast. Oh, man. I feel like we're going pretty damn fast. Oh, no. Come on. Ease it in. That's This is something that'll be fun to challenge some other YouTubers to. Um, so you can set the land speed record. Basically, I would tell them just go to the furthest wall in the flat zone, or the one closest to the sun. 
and try and reach the other one. So I'm going to time it. Uh, if I can figure out how to put a timer on the screen, I might do that. Uh, but I really don't know how to do that. So we probably won't. <laughs> okay, let's add some more here. Um, bam. I don't know. Is, is there a limit to how many you can put on... Or how many thrusters you can hook up to a switch? I hope not. Cause I mean, we had we had them all basically hooked up to the same one on the plane, and the plane was pretty massive. I think we should be good. That tire is going the wrong way. That could have that could explain uh, some of the problems we we're having. Though probably not too many of them. <laughs> okay. Jeez, just so many thrusters, man. <laughs> This is crazy. Okay, oh, we got all those there. We got these guys hooked up. Uh, maybe let's increase that angle a little bit on Mr. Controller here. Let's do 45. Okay, and launch. Okay, hold it steady. Hold it, hold it steady. That's not very steady. That's not very steady at all. Oh man. Ah, it's lame. And our turns are so wide. Okay, let's aim right towards the square. You can kind of see it on the horizon there. Oh, no, 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 no. Gosh, what is going on here? We're just leaving the ground so much. I think we need more weight. I think we should try and weigh it down a little bit more. Don't know if that's going to be our solution, but hey. We'll try it. Okay, so I added some more weight. I've also got... Headlights. <laughs> Come on, flip this way. There you go. Now we're looking cool. I added some more weight. I also had these thrusters in the front. Also, um go down to 45 degrees, so let's gun it. Oh yeah, I'm feeling confident about that. Okay, we're actually gonna pause that and go back and do an official time. Hopefully we'll go in a straight line. Let me pull my timer over here. Oh, there's a stupid thing there. Okay, it's like, I guess we could just pick it up. Because this will be the good way to judge it, so I'll have it Literally as far back as possible, so it's just about touching. Okay. And... Stopwatch. Three, two, one, go! Okay. Let's hold it steady. Come on, keep going straight. We're going a little bit to the right. Don't flip, don't flip, don't flip. Okay, we're good. We're good. Still relatively straight. Come on. No, no, no. Come on, turn, turn. No. Uh, let me try that again. Oh God, no, no, no. This is not good. Oh yeah, flip back around, come here. Whew, okay, that could have been bad. Well, inspiration struck. <laughs> Since I uh, was having so much trouble with the wheels, what if we made it like the vehicle we made, a, I don't know, a couple episodes ago, uh, episodes ago with a little rocket sled? Because it doesn't have to turn, it's just going a straight line. Okay, that's not far enough back. I got stuck. Okay, let's bring it just front enough. There we go. Okay, bring up the official timer. And three. Two, one, fire! Okay, seems to be going pretty well, picking up speed. Uh, we could probably increase the thruster power on the bottom a little bit. No, it's turning! No! <laughs> oh man, every attempt I make to go so fast in a straight line just fails miserably. Okay, let's increase all these one increments. Okay, I'm also, um, increase the power of the downward pointing thrusters. Maybe that'll help. 
like these guys here. Let's raise them up to two. Or raise them up to. As well as these guys. Okay, let's try that out. Okay, that's not ah, still turning. Ah, oh, man. Okay, I have one more idea I want to try before we call it. Uh, we're going to do a um, similar thing. Uh, we're going to do suspension steering. Okay, so here we go. I actually want to raise these front ones a little bit. Good there. Let's take it off there. Uh, it's actually... So three and four. Let's have those stop pointing down. Because the front kept getting jammed up. So we'll have those go there. Okay, so now we have these here, and we have suspension steering. Ignore the things on the top, they're not actually doing anything. And once more, set the timer. Three, two, one. Come on, baby. Okay, so we can still steer. Uh-oh. Oh, no! <laughs> no! Okay, recover, recover. We're good. Continue going this way. Dang it, maybe those things in the front were too powerful. Ah, oh, see, they keep getting jammed up like that. Alright, so unfortunately this looks like this was a failure of an episode. But at least it was fun. We experimented and got to go super fast. There it goes again. Why does it keep doing that? When I tested it earlier, it didn't do that. Pulled off a pretty almost flawless backflip, guys. But leave a like if you did enjoy and want to see more scrap mechanic in the future. Let me know if you think of a sweet name for this guy, too. Because I really can't think of any right now. I'll see you next time. Bye.